What is up everybody, it is Luke here from Mr. FBA bringing you another video. This is not to do with the virtual assistant mini course I was doing, I'll bring out a couple more this week. This is just going to be bringing out something that I've been testing since yesterday. It is online arbitrage deals and you might think, haven't I already gone over that? But it's not what you think, it is the deal arbitrage section of the platform or website or whatever you want to call it. So as you can see here, this this time this side of the website or the you know the business is actually we as Amazon sellers can earn a monthly income with at the moment just Amazon.co.uk with our online arbitrage deals. Now what do you exactly mean? Basically if we one have uh, not enough capital to buy all of our product leads. You know, we get leads from various different ways. It could be from um, software, it could be from manual, like copy paste, it could be from virtual assistants, um, finding you deals. There's many different ways you can find find deals. And what this does is you can basically sell them back to the to sort of online arbitrage deals, basically, you know, the company. You're basically selling your your deals, the raw lead, to the company, so that they will then use that lead. I guess within their own um, sort of system. So obviously they have on an arbitrage deals, which is the sort of main thing behind everything, and that is daily leads for your business for Amazon. Um, Obviously, you can't go back and sell the same ones they give you. Uh, and, they, you know, I've been testing it for like 24 hours. And you, anything that's been added into the system before, you can't add back. And I don't know if there's like a time, like a sort of like a three-month period maybe, because obviously things will go potentially in and out over time. So the old items might be lost. I don't know how they do it. I'll have to find out a bit more information as I sort of, progress with this whole platform because I've only been doing it a day and I'm still learning and there's still things I did wrong at the beginning which I'll go over and I'll explain just in case anyone's looking to do it as well and just so you don't have uh, you don't waste your time finding things you admit them to the platform and find out actually it's been declined or something and I had a couple because I was doing something wrong um, and as you can see if you want to know how to get to this part of the website to sign up which is free to sign up just go to onlinearbitragedeals.com, which a lot of you may already use for your you know, Amazon products sourcing. Uh, you can't, at the moment, there's no like .com or you can't, I asked about Europe, you can't submit European leads. So obviously some items in the UK aren't profitable, but they're really profitable in other, you know, across maybe Germany, France and that, but you can't actually submit them. Well, it, it does actually have an option. Uh, but, I, but at the moment, I don't think they're doing anything like that. It's literally very, very new. When I spoke to Karen about it before, she said it's very raw. Like, it doesn't look as fancy as this. So if you, a lot of you would have used the online arbitrage deals and see, like, this new look platform, how it differs from Bookable VA's old Excel Google Sheets. Um, and it's it's still, you know, for, for me, it's there's nothing wrong with the new platform, but it's not as kind of... They you would call it glitzy, I guess. Um, you know, window dressed, should we call it? So, what you would do is this is what a lot of you would have already signed up for. And you might be thinking, well, how do I get to the bit to sign up for to submit deals? Then, now if you go down to the very bottom, you'll see there's affiliates, which would be relating to the sort of the full business of on, on arbitrage deals, and then you've got the deal arbitrage. So if you click that, it will take you through to the page I was just on, which then details exactly what it is. Now, it's not as easy as going, I've got 400 deals, I'm gonna make so much money, and submitting them all, and you just get paid like instantly or something, and every single deal was perfect, yeah? There is a couple of things to think about, like obviously a lot of these deals would possibly be sourced already by onlinearbitragedeals.com because they have virtual assistants that go out every day. Uh, looking for leads, so you'll find that um, many leads are already already submitted into the system, and it will, and there is a way to find out before you would then potentially double check they meet the criteria, which I'll show you in a sec. So as we go down here, you can see here beta. So this web page here, fine, it looks exactly the same, but when you actually go through to the login, you'll see it's very very simple. There's nothing wrong with it; it's not difficult to do. It's just very simple. 
Um, it is a little bit time consuming on some of the elements like submitting all the data because I've not yet found a way to pull the data into that page as fast as I would like. Um, obviously you could get a virtual assistant to do it and then it wouldn't matter how long they took but still you would like them to, a virtual assistant to still be able to do it relatively fast so that they can try to um, put as many into the system at, per day for example. So you can see here monthly income available yeah so I think you submit everything here and by the end of, and at the end of the month they would then pay you via PayPal that's the gist of what I feel happens so at the end of the month whatever you've accumulated will get paid you receive £10 per deal approved and I'll show you all that in a second once we actually log in um, and basically the only thing you need is a BuyBot Pro subscription okay now I'm going to use an example of a product and I'm going to show you this product so this you can use you can take this product and make some money if you really want I would say it's not going to be really worth it but you could you could if you want you can see here BuyBot Pro is on my right and you will need this to check that certain criteria within this meet what is needed for that deal to be uh, accepted. If it's not does if it does not meet one of them, one of the four criteria, it's completely it's basically just declined. It gets sent to a deal checker, which is I believe a virtual assistant that is checking the deals. So there's different layers of the VA. Some are sourcing, some are checking, and the VA will check themselves with BuyBot Pro, they have access to BuyBot Pro, and they will also look at certain things that they've obviously been asked to check. Um, and if it then goes through that, it's been given a green light, the VA checker has checked it, it will then um, get moved into uh, like a designated section of the page. Say if it's part, basically if it's accepted, if it's a bad, bad deal, um, and pending, and, and so on, I should go through. Um, and basically, it, I submitted some last night and they didn't get uh, checked until this morning because that's just to do with the times that people are working because it's not on the UK time or anything. It's actually on um, sort of Asian time on that sort of on that sort of area. Um, so the time difference is, is is where you sort of have a light little delay on getting anything checked. Uh, and Karen suggested just getting everything done as early as possible in the day so that it's like more likely to be picked up within the same working day because obviously you don't want to submit deals and find the next day the deal actually goes so if you can find a way to sort of um, get it set up and submitted all the fresh deals as early as you can in the day maybe in the morning or maybe first thing before you even started um, that way you will make sure that you're not wasting the time submitting a deal that may actually have changed next day so this is the criteria you have to meet for a deal to be accepted it needs to be four pounds profit now when i was actually doing this i thought okay that's not massively high but there's a lot of products that are within the three and three to four pound range and obviously it has to be at least four pounds um so you, it, it's very easy to hit some of these criteria it's very easy to have let's say 10 pound profit the ROI might only be 26%, and the BuyBot Pro score might be 38. So you've got the profit is obviously two to three times what we would what it is, but because it doesn't also hit other criteria, it doesn't get accepted. And even if you hit all of those criteria, 10 pound profit, 32%, it might only have six sales a month or eight sales a month. You know, there's many products that I sell personally, and they sell two a month. Yeah. And there's only a couple of sellers, so there's only a couple of sellers on, on the on the on the listing. So I'm guaranteed two to say two to four, depending on you know. And I'm getting ten to twenty pound a month. Uh, so I'm buying two of one unit, two of another unit, multi. So for example, like a toaster. Okay, you can pick up many toasters and kettles, and you can make fifteen to twenty quid profit on each one. But you're only selling two to four a month, uh, so you might sell four. Red for cream for what other colors I normally do. Uh, whatever else, green. Do I sell green? I don't know. Anyway, so you're still getting you know decent money return from them, and they could be consistent. You might only be able to pick up a deal once, but it won't hit a ten sales a month. So it's very easy to think I'm going to make tons of money. That's just submit loads, and actually you need to be careful that you actually 
are ready before you start just sending, you know, getting ahead of yourself and sending a million different things in and actually finding out that you haven't checked properly. So you just need to be careful of that. Because I'm sure before long, if they're having to decline hundreds and hundreds of wrong, you know, wrong deals, it'd just be a bit annoying. So go and sign up here, become a deal um, arbitrage client today. And I'm now going to jump in. You can read the T's and C's here if you like. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. If it hits these criteria, you'll get approved for £10. Um, and you all, all you need is Bybot Pro subscription because you obviously have to check certain numbers that only Bybot Pro will actually give you. So you can't use like a free some, some free software or another software and, and get the information. You could try um, and guess, I guess. That's what you do, but it's not going to... It's just not something you should be doing. So let's go ahead and jump into the login. Now, this is the login. So you literally have you log in through, I think it's the same login that you would log in if you were looking for your deal, lead, deal sheet or your deal leads, but you log in under a different email um, and it will come up with this. So obviously it says we're not accepting three for twos because everyone knows with the online number of deals and so would, did the applicable VA, they do a separate deal sheet just for Argos three for twos that everyone gets access to and they'll be covering every single item basically. So any items you put, they will they would have covered or they will be covering, so it's sort of like it's double like it's doubling up. So straight away, that's fine. We knew that. Well I knew that. You can see here status, so or status. All new, pending, rejected, approved, dealt, bad, out of stock. So I, I did wonder what some of these were. Uh, but I, I went ahead and just went through some items last night and so well, I just wanted to see what would happen is what, what I wanted to do because obviously certain things that I might not be looking at there's, it's, you know, there's not instructions as such you see like step one do this you know it's sort of like you've got to try yourself and also this video ho will hopefully help people that are just looking to make sure they don't make the obvious mistakes at the beginning um, and then you can just start off with the right structure and you know what you're doing so we are going to jump in to the search criteria on a listing okay so I've just this is a listing that actually is gone into bad so this is actually the bad listing I'll click here um, this is it you see all the data is in there it's me I put it I, 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 you have to go up here add new deal and you add this information in um, and this is this so I'll show you now why it was and wasn't uh, a good deal so before, I mean, unless unless something's changed. So before, I had it at non-applicable VAT like this. So all the other de all the other details I left blank. Prep fees, everything's blank. Okay, yeah, this is what I would have submitted. So I would have come here, and it's a, a pack of four of this Sheba Fine Collection. Um, the fit this one here, and you can go here. And so first of all. Before you've entered any of your details, you cannot actually see. Let's see if we can refresh you. So you cannot see the data. So there's a couple of quick checks you should do to speed up your either your application or a virtual assistant. So I'll probably do a virtual assistant video on this um, because this is something they can they can add on or uh, sort of amalgamate into the day somehow. I'm trying to think of the best way to do it, but. We definitely bring a video out on it. This is for people that want to get it, get trying the video to see, so we get trying adding leads just to see how it goes. Like personally, because I always find it's best to master or basically know what you're doing for every aspect of the business and then delegate out. Because if something happens and you need to sort it, if you don't know how to do it, then you can't sort it. So it's, you know you don't have to spend long, but straight away, obviously you cannot see the information here, and there's four aspects of this information you're going to need so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to check down here on Keeper because I want to know it has at least 10 sales per month now you can see quite clearly very very quickly that is like 46 there's like a lot of sales a month yeah and obviously you want to check the price so I mean I'm not sure what happened there but you can see the average price is basically sort of like up here and at the moment it's all here so I 
they are actually taking the price um, as of the recent time, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. I'm still trying to double check everything as I go, and there will be more things I learn over time. But just so you can get started, this will be for that for that reason. So I would then go. So I'm actually going to show you this lead, and if you would like to go and buy it, knock yourself out. But what I find with um, cat food sometimes it can quick get quite weighty, so you have to make sure that the boxes are correct, um, the what the weights add up to. Uh, what the ROI, what the return is, more than importantly, because if it's not going to cover your box cost. Um, so let's go on to Wilkinson's, and you can see here, £4, Sheba, same thing. Um, so obviously for a pack of four, you're looking at 16 So here, I would have put £16. Now, I'm leaving all this other information blank, bundles and all that, because you do not want, you, this is as if it's, natural not to a prep center okay so it's going to like i'm buying it for me i'll get it sent to myself so on and that sort of thing yeah so the buy price the sell price is as of the time now uh and i will probably off check more details about how they would uh, say that this price is flat is is like a bit too high or a bit too low compared to what it the average is over say three months or one month if there's any, you know, discrepancy, uh, you know, try to get what I'm trying to say. See if there's a, if, if they change or allow anything. But anyway, you can see here. So this is what you now need to check. You need to check the four criteria. Okay, let's jump back. Four pound profit. Now this is obviously what I did and it was wrong. So I'm just showing you, but now I'm just showing you what you need to look for. Profit, six pound 38. Check. 30% 30 ROI, 39.88. Check. Yeah, sorry, that 10 sales a month and 40%. So 10 sales a month, but it says 95, and it is a 52 average, and we want a 40 or above. Perfect, it hits the four. Now, this is actually, so that's why I submitted it, because I was like, perfect. It meets all that four criteria, okay? But what you need to do is you may, because obviously we could be standard accounting, non-VAT, registered flat rate, we could potentially be any of these, not the not applicable, but yeah. Uh, you need to set it as a non-VAT registered. So I'm VAT registered actually on the flat rate. So if I do it, if I do the flat rate and we see what I'm making, look, look, you know, you're still making £4.25, but that is completely changed. Now, if you go in here and go on to the non-VAT, analyze, it, it gets a little bit better but it's pretty much still, you know, it's still below, It's a lot of it's below. The profit's fine, the ROI is under, and this is under 40. Obviously the sales will still say the same. So it is now being moved to a bad deal. So if you jump back to the main login, it was in Delt because I submitted it as if it was, um, what? Oh, maybe it was even cheaper yesterday. That's actually possibly what it ha what happened because I put twelve pounds here and it's now sixteen. So that's possibly actually what's happened. It could have been an extra uh, bit off, or I, or I entered it wrong. But you can see now, anyway, from adding this data and it's not it's not acceptable. So they've come in and now moved it to bad. And what you'll see is I'm not going to actually go into the rejected because you'll start seeing all the entries I've done and stuff. But if you go to the far right hand side, you'll see a comment section and it will say something like mismatch products, this, that and the other. OK, so this is what you need to be aware of when submitting. They that the deal checker will come to Bible Pro basically and the listing and check it here. Now, there's been as many items in Amazon that are that I sell. Like There's even one item now. I had just one seller left, which is like cooking marvelous or something they've been on amazon for ages they're a merchant seller and they're always selling at a very high price now it's now gone up to like 35 pound or something as item is it just one seller and it's selling like 30 a month 40 a month and that would be flagged as a private label likely it would go red it's not private label because it just happens to be that that product has dropped Obviously, you know, let's say it was down here. Let's say it was down here. Now look at this period here. 
Now, yeah, we're zoomed in quite a lot, but it's one seller and it's selling here. You can see this item selling really nicely. Uh, it's over um, two weeks, selling really nicely there. Now this would this system would flag it up as private label, likely because there's only one seller. And I believe it's if there's only one FBA seller, it still says likely. So if you've got a merchant fulfilled as well, it will still say likely. And what you actually need to do if you if you know or believe that it's not private label for whatever reason, I mean a lot of the time it's obvious that it is obvious if it isn't, and it's and if it's like if it's possible, then I would say. You, it's not going to be passed. But if it's obvious, like Sheba is a grocery or pet product, you, you know, okay, potentially, yes, it is Sheba's private product, but it's not what you would classify as an Amazon private label product. Um, you would have to email uh, online arbitrage deals. Uh, info. I, you have to double check. Um, it will be the same email that basically confirms your account. Um, and they and basically say I'm looking to submit this deal, but it's under that because if you submit that, even though you know it's not, and it says it's all come up correct, ROI is good, profits good, estimated sales is good, and this is good, you submit it, it will get declined straight away because the deal checker will see this private label and straight away will just decline the deal. So basically, you have to wait for them to decline it, and then you just have to go back, email them, say it's not a private label. They'd undo it and put unlikely, um, and then you'd have to resubmit it. And it's you don't you don't I imagine if you, that happens on a, a lot of your products or a handful of your products, you've got to go back. It's just a delay, and then you've got to go back anyway. So you just you, I would say straight away check that. And so anything that I guess is red for any reason. So obviously, well, yeah, I mean, you can see it's gone red there, but I guess that would be the only other item that go red. It obviously would say red if you can't sell it, but that's account specific. Um, so I then wasn't sure about some of these others. So I was like, okay, well, what's DELT? And I might go into it. Um, basically, Karen has said that DELT means that it's past the pending. So it will sit in, you'll have all your items sitting in pending. Once you've clicked, there's a button that will appear down here, and it will say... Um, basically send to deal checker. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what it even looks like on the next page. So we're going to go ahead and grab this ASIN. Now I, yeah, I'm going to do it like that. And I'm going to show you what data they have said that they need. So we're going to go add new deal. So dealt are basically, as far as I think, no, is being confirmed without being approved. I don't really, un I'm sort of letting it happen. So I'm just waiting for things happen to see what actually happens on, on, on the login but basically Karen has said that it, it becomes an approved it's been checked and it's okay and it's it's like an approved item out of stock could also mean it's gone out of stock and we won't you won't get paid so if the item is out of stock but in theory if it doesn't if it comes back into stock you actually you know but you won't get paid for that so don't put potential leads that if they come back into stock you'll get money because they're going to be declined straight away um, uh, but if they go out of stock because it goes onto the website and then it naturally goes out of stock after, it can be that. So I'd say just sort of go with it to start with rather than um, thinking, well, what's this, what's that? Because I'll, I'll be doing the same and I'll, I'll do a follow up video when it's a little bit more established and stuff. But this is just a, a lot like a, an overview to get started um, so that you can sort of get get started basically. Now with the new deal you have to include every single aspect of this deal so you cannot skip so here is where I started thinking I could submit European deals because I was like Germany, I found light on Germany I went through my monthly Germany reports found £4 profit, found the ROI and I thought okay now let's check that item um, and it, it wasn't anymore but eventually I found one from like last month's monthly sales like data and oh, some, someone's in there, but I don't know, the half of these aren't correct anyway. And um, and yeah, so what you can do is you would go to the ASIN, let's change that back to the UK. So at the moment, it's just UK, and we're going to go ahead and paste in that one. And you can see the thing that pops up. Oh, my um, uh, you can't actually see it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring this screen up, bring this up. Yes. 
Oh, I can't. Yeah, so it goes up. So what you do is you click that, and you'll see this ASIN has already been added to the system. So I'll just say straight away, your first thing to do, do not go into all this. Like, how long have I just sort of, I know I've been talking, but how long have it taken to check this, check that? Go on here. How much am I buying it for? Jump back. Da da da. You know, by the time you've done all that, and you go, hey, oh, uh, okay, it's already been added. Okay, so I normally keep this, when I was doing it last night, just testing it out. I got into a rhythm where I was on, like, where I was getting the leads from. Then I was pasting them into here, and it came straight up as moving on to the next one. If not, I was then going to the next section and typing it in, and then following on from there. And if it came up with, like, like obviously, then straight away, it's a private label, likely. Don't submit it. Email. And I know it's a little... You know, there is steps to it, but by doing it in the right order, you're going to save yourself like three quarters of the time anyway. So just for now, that's going to save you a lot of time rather than like spending ages. You know, anyone would know when they deal like sourcing ages ago, back in the day with FBA Wizard, you'd like check the ROI, you would check that, you'd check this, and you get to the point where you're going to buy the item, definitely with Argos. They'd say it's in stock, delivery. You go on, next page, it's not, you can't buy it. They obviously just, I don't know what they do. But, you know, and, you, and it's just like you want to make sure you do it in the right order so you're saving as much time as possible because that's ultimately the goal, isn't it? So he types it in and it comes up with that that ASIN is obviously in the system already. Now, let's ignore it and say it isn't because so I can go through the details. So, you know, this is literally how I was doing it. And yes, there may be faster ways to do it. Um, that'll be... And you can check this and I'll show you where to check it. Uh, so you would jump in here, you would come down, in here it says pet supplies, I'll go MF cell account 4 and then FBA cell account 11, 4 and 11. And now the reason I'm doing it slightly out of sync is just so that I'm doing it as I see it, because uh, it takes me two seconds. I'm jumping through, grabbing that URL off, jumping through, jumping through. Uh, that's actually going to be the Amazon price, that's 16. Amazon price thirty one fourteen. Boom! Jump down. BSR percentage. I always get this mucked up a little bit. One percent, and then I've already copied that. Uh, that's that, and that's that. Right. Weight in grams. Four six eight one. Boom! Fees excluding is this bit here. So it's 1051 and you know and unless I'm wrong, you know, this is just going on what I believe, like total cost. If we highlight, you can see it's taking into consideration the referral fees, the storage, the FBA fulfillment fee, Amazon total fees, and then adding on that UK VAT. And that is giving us um so that one one seventy five in other costs is actually from that UK VAT, which pulls it down to the grand total, and that is the fees that you'd be paying. And if you want to double check, you can go onto the Amazon Sellers app, type in this ASIN, um, go on the drop down where the fees are, and then add twenty. Go on for calculator, get the fees, press plus twenty percent, enter or equals, and that will be ten fifty one, or it'll be ten fifty one six seven like decimals. Okay. Um, so then we want to go buy bot pro score. And dimensions by what pro school okay obviously it's 15.29 I did find it doesn't accept points uh, maybe I there's a way to do it um, and then you jump through to, to this bit's a little bit more time-consuming you can't can you no, no. so you've got to highlight that and you've got to remember 20.4 19.6 Uh, that's probably the same, and then 29.2, and I do put centimeters because it doesn't actually say what, I guess it will go off that dimension as a default, so you probably don't have to put centimeters. Uh, comment, I don't, Amazon on listen, you click the save button, um, I'm not going to click it because it's obviously wrong. Uh, and then what you would see is, obviously, you would see in all uh, uh, pending, it would go into pending, and it would look like this. So, it always say just double check it looks all correct. So I 
for example, want to put that into this one and that one in that one. I don't think it really matters because they ultimately want to look at the price, the links and stuff. Um, um, make sure that the you know just have a quick glance. And anyway, if it's wrong, you can always go back and change it, amend it, and all that sort of thing. And then you would add it all in, and I'd say within twelve hours, depending on what depends on when you do it. To be fair, and it depends on how what sort of popularity this gains over time and how many deals people have got to check. But I'd say within a day, as I say within a day from now, it will appear moved into one of these. So bad, now you know why. Dealt, I believe that will get paid to me at some point. I've only actually submitted six, just because I was sort of testing it out. I wanted to see how it worked, where they went, what, and like, am I seeing what they see? Because, you know, rejected will be... I guess, yeah, I guess where my I didn't have my VAT, so it will make sure, uh, the only thing you've got to remember now is you've got to switch between your VAT, if you are VAT registered, to switch back every time, um, so that you don't, I know it's only slightly out, so I guess you could be like, if it's that tight, you could just check, but if, if, if you're going to get 60% ROI, 40, like £40 pound profit, you know, it's still not, it's not going to be hugely different, but obviously that's not, a, it's not particularly um, good business, is it, really? It's roughly right, yeah. Um, and that's basically it. And then you can email, you know, I think, like, I've had a couple of me emails from a couple of people, like, from, from them. And sometimes I've had two people reply to me on the same email, and they're both helpful. They don't, they're almost trying to get it, because it's quite early stages there. They're trying to overhelp, maybe, than, than underhelp, because it is new. And you know Karen anyway, like, when she's brought out any of these things, she's like, seems to be about four people in one doing each 24 hours a day or something, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> so it just seems anyway. Um, and yeah, so if you want to go onto it, you know, you just go onto onlinearbitrosdeals.com. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, and also I'll put a link to the Buybot Pro because you can't do it without Buybot Pro. So ultimately you need that first just to try it out. And if you have, I mean, a lot of people have it. And if you don't, you could you just try it out for a month, and if it doesn't work for you, then then that's that's because you want to do it for deal arbitrage. Then you've tried it, um, but you need it to at least try. So you come on, you go onto onlinearbitragedeals.com. You can go onto the slash deal dash arbitrage slash, I guess, um, but just go onto the main website, drop down to the bottom, sign up here. Um, you have to provide your PayPal. And also, if you're already a online arbitrage deals customer, a different email address because I had to give a different one because they couldn't. Basically, you have to log in through the same setup or same bit, um, and it'd obviously pull you through to your deal leads rather than like this. I believe, like, don't quote me on everything I've said. It's just just me like 24 hours later after starting, so I'm hopefully kind of correct in everything I've said. And get started, and the, all you need, you know, really, the best thing is just to get stuck in. And yes, you might be spending a day on it and trying it out, and you might, you might not get anywhere. You might get a couple, but it's all like anything. You got to put in a little bit at the beginning just to see what either the potential is or what what, what you could do with it in the future to scale something. I guess, for example, um, and obviously this is great for anyone that has VAs in general. You could get them to do half a half. Because, you know, £10 a lead, you know, if you're giving 200 leads, you know, a month, that's £200 extra. You can basically pay for virtual assistants. If they're not bad in finding stuff, if they're finding too many, <coughs> just give half of it away. And they're paying for themselves and giving you a little extra. And you're not doing any different at all. You know, a lot of deals are, are just going to waste. Or And even you can just do both. Give, For example, if you're looking to maximise all the different arbitrage techniques... Don't think, which ones do I want to give? Which ones do I don't? Just do it all. Because like with the online arbitrage deals, the a lot of people say, oh, but isn't it saturated? Isn't it this? This new method that's been introduced with the online arbitrage deals where like not, no one gets the same as another person. It's, it's like filtered through like just in in a way that no one would like. Yes, some people will get the same every now and then, but it will be done in a way that no one... I won't get exactly the same as that guy or that guy and like 20 other people and then another lot, another 20 will get the same as that. And that way it keeps like the items a bit more fresh. And a lot of items I've, I've been looking at recently, like 
I know it's Christmas and everything, but they haven't not yet have been saturated because of any reason I've noticed. So it's been good. So you, you could actually do it all because it's not it's not about like keep you know, you've got to th almost you've got a thing mentality wise, you've got to maximize rather than you've got to think like a big man, not a small man. Like I used to say, does a CEO think, oh that one item that makes me two hundred and fifty percent ROI the, I can't tell anyone else about it because it's mine. And you know, it's not about that, it's about like the bigger picture. And as a online arbitrage, you could be doing so many streams of income almost now. Like you can just at least two. Okay. You can have a VA doing you, a VA, then you can you can even give all of that as well. So you can dig you, your VA will do lo one lot of work. You'll take the leads, buy the leads if you want, or whatever you want to do with it, and then give the leads the same day. So you're basically digging, you're making two, two lots of income from one set of data, two birds, one stone. But it just depends on you. Some people want to do the opposite of that. Um, but that's just what my opinion is. Anyway, not going to go on anymore. Hopefully I've covered as much as I have. I'm sorry if I've left something out that you've seen or noticed. I've only been doing it a day. But I didn't do it much today anyway. And it's just a little overview just so you can get started and hopefully you enjoyed the video. So yeah, any questions let me know. I'll put some links down below or you probably already know them yourself anyway and just get started and see how you get on. See you on the next video. Bye.